The Audi A1 shows its trendy lifestyle side in this city car of guys. This variant is SUV inspired, but of course it's not any sort of SUV. It's not even really any sort of crossover either, though you do get an extra 4 cm of ride height and, more importantly, a whole stack of extra pavement presence. You might expect that the addition of 40 kilograms of weight and a higher ride height might have a negative effect on the tarmac performance of this car. Happily though, that's not the case. Actually, the opposite is true. This variant's extra suspension travel delivering a slightly more compliant ride than you get in an equivalent A1 Sport derivative. Most City Carver models will be sold with the 1 litre 3 cylinder petrol unit that we're trying here, the 116 PS 30 TFSI version of it. The performance stats are exactly the same as they would be for any other A130 TFSI derivative. Rest to 62 miles an hour in 9.5 seconds or 9.4 seconds if you go for the alternative S-Tronic 7-speed dual clutch automatic that we're trying here. Uh, there's also a top speed of 126 miles an hour either way. Now it's a punchy, willing little engine with decent low down pulling power for urban work and enough top end refinement to make longer highway trips comfortable. If highway journeys are more the norm for you, then you might want to find the extra for the alternative four-cylinder 1.5 litre 35 TFSI engine, which puts out 150 PS. If you like the idea of an A1 Sport back with a little extra attitude, you'll like what Audi has tried to do here. This variant's large octagonal single-frame front grille references the brand's various Q-series SUV models and surrounds a sculpted honeycomb insert painted in matte black. In profile, this model's more muscular look has been achieved primarily through redesigned sills in a contrasting colour, underbody protection in a stainless steel finish and raised suspension, giving around 4 centimetres of additional ground clearance. Uh, you also get wheel arch extensions which shroud these bigger 17 inch rims. At the rear, a restyled bumper echoes the robust look at the front end. Inside, there's rather less differentiation over a normal A1 Sportback, but it all feels very high-end for a Super Mini. You get silver grey accents for the air vents, the door handle recesses and the centre console. There's aluminium trim for the control switches and the 10.25-inch virtual cockpit digital instrument cluster, which, as with any other A1, marks this car out from non-premium brand small hatches. The standard MMI centre dash display is 8.8 .8 inches in size, but many owners will want to upgrade to the larger 10.1 inch MMI navigation monitor we have here. In the rear seat, you'll find enough space for a couple of six-footers to sit behind comparably sized adults in the front. The knees will probably be brushing the seat backs. Out back, there's the usual 335 litre boot. Pricing for this A1 City Carver starts at around £22,000. That's for the 30 TFSI variant with a manual gearbox. That's a car with a 1 litre 116 PS turbo petrol three cylinder engine. If you want Audi's S Tronic dual clutch automatic transmission, you'll need to find around £1,500 more. The alternative 1.5 litre four cylinder petrol powered 35 TFSI version of this car costs around £1,000 more with either gearbox. You'd expect the small weight increase of this variant and its slightly higher ride height to have a marginally negative effect on fuel and CO2 readings. And sure enough, it does. There's nothing to get too despondent about though. The manual 1 litre 30 TFSI petrol city carver model manages 46.3 miles to the gallon on the WLTP combined cycle and 139 grams per kilometre of WLTP rated CO2. For the S-Tronic Auto, the figures are 44.1 miles to the gallon and 146 grams per kilometre. So, is there really a place in the A1 Sportback range for a variant jazzed up with body cladding, lifestyle marketing and a bit of extra ride height? Probably yes. Yes, you'll pay a bit of a premium to get these benefits, but it's not too extreme. And it does give you a small car with a bit more pavement presence and a slightly nicer quality of ride. If you can't resist that and want an A1 with a little extra attitude, the City Carver will be right up your street.